Hey guys, I'm sorry I've been away for the past few weeks. Uh, I've just been doing some weird stuff on Saturdays. It's been kind of hard to film. Um, well, one of those Saturdays anyway. A couple weeks ago, I was actually at home and I was just kind of enjoying my time at home and forgot to film. And then last Saturday, I was judging a German competition. And that was an all-day event, and I was really, really exhausted at the end of it, and again, forgot to film. So, sorry about that. So for my first video on here in a while, I wanted to do something really cool, and I was catching up on some of my subscriptions today, and I saw a really cool video tag thing that I wanted to do. And it's called the 10 Most Influential Books Tag. Basically, you list 10 books that had some kind of meaningful impact on you. Um, so the books I talk about either influenced me as a person or maybe got me back into reading again or are just some of my favorite books. And so here we go. By the way, the books that I list aren't really in a particular order. They're just kind of in the order that I thought of them. First one on the list is, of course, and probably comes to no surprise, is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling. I talked before on this channel how much of an influence Harry Potter has had on my life, and so I'm not going to get into that again, but um, I of course had to put the first book because it's where it all started, and Harry Potter. <laughs> Second on that list comes my favorite Harry Potter book, which is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I just thought that the series was just wrapped up so beautifully. This book is probably the one that really shaped and defined who my favorite characters are in the book. And it was just so different from all their, their Harry Potter books and I really liked that. Third on my list is An Abundance of Catherines by John Green. An Abundance of Catherines was the first John Green book that I read. And now that John Green has become one of my favorite authors, I wanted to include that because this is kind of the book that introduced me to John as an author rather than just a YouTuber. And it's also a very clever book. Uh, fourth on that list is another John Green book, and my favorite John Green book, which is The Fault in Our Stars. This is one of my favorite books of all time, and I love this book very much, and I'm very, very much looking forward to seeing the movie adaptation, because so far it looks pretty good, and also John's excited about it, and I kind of trust his opinion, so I'm thinking it's going to be really good. Fifth on my list is The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Uh, this is the first dystopian type book that I really remember reading, um, and I just remember blowing through it so quickly because I was so wrapped up in what was going on, and I just thought it was so good. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorite series, and overall just a fantastic book and a really interesting story. Sixth on my list is kind of a compilation of books from my childhood, and that is the American Girl books. For those of you who don't know, American Girl is kind of, it's a doll company, and they produce a lot of different kinds of dolls for kids. One of their lines of dolls is like these historical characters and they each have like their own little book series that goes along with them. My favorite was Kirsten who you can't get anymore unfortunately but she was a immigrant from Sweden and she was back in like the 1850s I think and so her books captured kind of what life was like back then, and really all of the American Girl book series had a lot of history in them, and I learned a lot about history and different time periods from reading those books as a kid, so I had to include those. Seventh on my list is I'd Tell You I Love You But Then I'd Have to Kill You by Allie Carter. Um, I read this book back in, I think, eighth grade. It introduced me to a very cool series which ended this past year. I included it because it not only introduced me to her as an author, but it's one of the few series that expanded over such a long period of time that I actually wanted to keep up with and did. And I Tell You I Love You But Then I Have to Kill You, the first book in the series. Eighth on my list is Song of the Sparrow by Lisa Ann Sandell. I included this book because I thought it was really interesting in the way it was written. It was written in kind of a poem format. It's also one of the first books that I read that was kind of from the King Arthur realm, and since I read that book, a lot of King Arthur things have been very, very interesting to me, and that kind of introduced me to all of that and got me into that. Number nine on my list is The Bean Trees by Barbara Kingsolver. I included this because it was one of the few books I read in high school that I actually enjoyed. I read it my senior year. Um, I also really liked that it wasn't 
your typical classic novel that you read in school. Which, I mean, I don't have anything against classic literature, but when that's all you read for school, it kind of gets old after a while, and so this was kind of... It was different and I liked that and it was also a book where just kind of by looking at it I didn't think I'd like it at all and then I ended up really liking it. And last on my list is The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Ch Chbosky? I'm not really sure how to say his last name. I'm not gonna lie, I read this book because I wanted to see the movie and I ended up really really liking it. It's a really thin book so it's a really fast read which is always good for me because I'm super busy. Um, but it was just a really, really, really good book, and if you haven't read it, you should check it out. So that's my list of 10 most influential books. Um, I don't really know a whole lot of YouTubers, um, so I'm just going to tag my fellow Geekly 3.0 members. You should make a video like this one week if you don't have a theme or don't know what the theme is or just feel like talking about books or whatever, um, because I thought this was a really cool idea. And um, for any of you watching, if you want to do this tag too, you should. Uh, later on this week, I'm going to upload another video that I had to do for school, so you'll be seeing me again. I kind of consider a makeup for missing the past few weeks. Um, so yeah, hope you're having a wonderful weekend, and DFTBA. Bye.